Lesson 4, Unit 4. Data management. Data management is the process to identify, select, collect, and store data that the project will use to analyze and report as information. There are three components of data management. The first one is the process to collect data. Then is the process to organize, store, and protect the data. And then the process to analyze the data so that it can be converted into information. Data management is governed by the information needs of the project stakeholders. This can include the donor, the partners, local organizations, government, beneficiaries, the organization, and even the project team. They need information in order to make decisions. Each stakeholder will have a different need of information from the project. It is important that the project manager takes into account these needs and collects the right data. There are two types of data, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative data seeks to uncover the context, perceptions, and quality of the intervention, as well as opinions about a particular experience or condition as the beneficiaries view it. Quantitative data measures the status or change of a specific indicator the data provides with numerical results. Here are some of the main differences between qualitative and quantitative data. The principal difference is that qualitative data is the data in which the classification of objects is based on attributes and properties. It is subjective and structured and requires a small sample. On the other hand, quantitative data is the type of data which can be measured and expressed numerically. It is objective, is structured, and requires a large sample. The project manager should try as possible to use both types of data. When using conjunction, they help build a better understanding of the changes that are happening or not in the beneficiaries. Two additional classifications of data include primary and secondary data. Primary data is the new data collected by the project through the use of surveys, meetings, focus groups, discussions, or other methods that may involve direct contact with the respondents. Secondary data is existing data that has been collected by others for another purpose, but that the project might find useful. Here are some of the main differences between primary and secondary data. Primary data refers to the first hand gathered by the project. It's expensive. It takes more time specific to the needs of the project and more accurate and reliable. Secondary data is data collected by others. It's less expensive, takes less time, but not, may not be too specific to the interests of the project and is less accurate and reliable. The project manager will need to decide and make a combination of both types depending on the indicator and constraints of the project. Here are some of the most common methods used to collect data. Observation. These are direct observations of beneficiaries to see changes in behaviors or skills. A survey. These are questionnaires with structured questions with ranking or scoring options. The individual interviews. They are structured conversations with a beneficiary designed to explore the understanding of a specific subject. Focus group discussions. These are a structured, organized discussion between six to eight people to discuss a particular topic and explore their beliefs, opinions, and ideas and research. It is the analysis of secondary data to find information that is useful to the project objectives. Research and data and information collected are reported by other researchers such as official statistics. The methods chosen will depend on factors such as the cost, the time, the availability, and experience. An important concept to understand in data management is data sampling. Sampling is the identification of a group of people that the project will select to collect data. The data collected from this group can be used as a representation of the larger population the project is working with. The idea of sampling is to reduce the effort and cost of data collection. There is no need to interview all the beneficiaries if the data from the sample provides the same results. There are many methods to help select the sampling that will be used in the data collection. The type of methods will depend on the cost and time and the level of accuracy and confidence that the sampling is a good representation of the total population. Data needs to be checked for quality during and after the collection. Here are some of the areas to check that the project manager and the ME officer should incorporate in the quality process. Are the forms complete? Are the answers clearly written? Are answers consistent? Are figures computed correctly? 
many errors occur when people in charge of collecting the data don't have proper training and enter data incorrectly, resulting in reports that show inconsistency or even contradictory information. Here are some additional aspects of data quality considered. Validity. Data should measure what is intended to measure. Reliability. The data is measured and collected consistently according to the standard definitions and methodologies. It means that the results are the same when measurements are repeated. Completeness. All data elements are included as per the definitions and the methodologies specified for the purpose. Precision. Data is sufficiently detailed to be used for analysis. Integrity. The data is protected from deliberate bias or manipulation from political or personal reasons. And timeliness. Data is up to date, it is current, and information is available on time. Data storage and security is an important component of data management. First, the project must have the infrastructure that will store all the data collected in a system that can be easily accessed by the project team, but that has the necessary security to protect the data from unauthorized access or loss of data. Collecting data is expensive, and all the data the project collects cannot be easily collected again in case of loss. The infrastructure will either consist of a local server in a local network with access policies and backup procedures. Project staff will be able to enter the data in the MNE system from their computers, and the system will help with the organization of the data and facilitate its use for analysis and reporting. If available, access to the system via internet facilitates the work of remote staff and even partners who need access to the data. The last component of data management is data analysis. This is the process where the project will use raw data and convert it into meaningful information. Data analysis is driven by questions the project and key stakeholders need to answer. For example, is the project on track? Are the activities delivered on time? Are the beneficiaries satisfied with the quality of the outputs? Is the project achieving the expected results? And are there any unexpected consequences? The analysis of the data will include the comparison of results with project targets. A powerful method for analysis and communication of the monitoring finding is data visualization. Visualization is the process of representing data graphically in order to identify trends and patterns that would otherwise be unclear or difficult to discern. Selecting which type of visualization to use will depend on the nature of the data and how the project wants to present the data to its different audiences. Visualization helps the stakeholders have a better understanding of the project without having to do their own analysis. Data represented in graphs can easily facilitate the identification of trends and progress of the project. Visualization includes the use of graphs, charts, maps, and diagrams.